Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashwika. Welcome to Global Adamics in Pai channel where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about Creative Fabrica because I've been getting a lot of the comments from you guys talking about how to make more money with the Creative Fabrica, how to get them more sales, improving the shop or bio or something like that to make more money. So here I am talking more about the Creative Fabrica. It's entirely based on my experience, guys. I'm not an employee at the Creative Fabrica. Fabrica. So it's entirely based on my experience. So hopefully this video will going to help you. So let's dive in before go park. Consider clicking the like button, guys. I do really appreciate that. If you want more such video, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. So whenever we upload new videos, you'll be getting notified about it. Also, we have a lot of the free resources to help you make more money. The link is in the description box below. You can simply click on that link and you can download it. You can also subscribe to our email newsletter. It's 100 percent free right now. We have put on waitlist. Once we get started with that, we will going to send you exclusive content. Regarding making money online, the link is in the description box below. Let's talk about Creative Fabrica. I have made a lot of the videos, guys. In fact, I have an entire playlist on my channel talking about the Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna leave that entire playlist in the car section above. If you haven't checked it so so far, make sure you check it out because in that, those videos, I talk a lot about the Creative Fabrica opening up a shop, getting an approval, setting up the portfolio, a bunch of stuff is there. So make sure you check it out. Let's talk about how to get the more sales. So I'm going to be sharing some of the tips with you guys that I think that helped me to get the more sales. Again, it varies from person to person because each an individual designer has a different experience on the Creative Fabrica. Some of the tips may be helpful to you, some may not be. But I think that these helped me to get the more sales and also double my income from the few months. So I'm going to be sharing all those tips. So let's dive into that particular thing. The first of all thing, guys, I want to talk about that is really, really important is about the branding. Yes, you need to have a proper branding for your shop. You need to clarify what people can expect from your shop, like what kind of product you are delivering to the people so that it's giving them a chance to follow you. You can see that the on the Creative Fabrica, they have the favorites, they have the followers and the more followers you have, the more people will going to get notified whenever you are whenever you are actually publishing or uploading your products. So for example, if you have hundreds of followers, all those people will going to get an email once you send uh, once you upload a new product on your shop. So that would likely going to increase your sales and also increase your money and revenue and all those kind of stuff. So that is the most important thing, the branding. What do you need to do over here, guys? Make sure your avatar is proper. Have your logo, guys. Don't just upload something like that only. Have a proper logo. You don't need to be a designer or a graphic designer to prepare a logo. You could make it with the Canva. And if you don't know how to make it, check the Fiverr. There are so many people on the Fiverr actually helping you to make a logo for a few few bucks so you can get a logo and then you need to have a shop banner shop banner need to represent what kind of work or what kind of things you're gonna upload in your shop like whether it's the kdp interiors in the print on demand products or uh, fonts or the templates or the embroidery designs crochet designs because there is a lot of the different stuff that people are selling on the creative fabrica it's kind of like a generalized marketplace graphics for the fonts for the embroidery designs a lot of the stuff is there guys so you need to make sure you have a proper branding for your shop so people know what they can expect from your shop also you can update your bio regarding that particular thing make sure you write in there your bio what people can expect, write it down clearly if you're uploading KDP interiors, if you're uploading graphics, if you're uploading background textures, if you're uploading patterns, if you're uploading text illustrations, if you're uploading fonts, etc, etc. Write it down in your bio and also make sure you have a banner where you are writing it down what people can expect from you. You can write, I create dash 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 or I upload dash 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 dash. I love designing, that's why I'm going to upload dash 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 dash. Something like that you can write and you can give that particular branding for you. Second tip that I have for you guys, how a mixed product collection in your shop. Yes, of course I talk about having a niches or having a topic in your mind, but you could have a mixed product like a seasonal product and an evergreen products. The products for the holidays, the product for the Valentine, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Independence Day, Halloween, blah, 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 blah the products for that particular events and occasion and also products that are evergreen because this will really going to help you get the more eyeballs on your shop. If you're uploading the latest products or the seasonal products that people are looking for, then naturally your shop will going to get 
more eyeballs, the more eyeballs you're going to get, increase your chances of getting the more sales and making more money. So have a proper balance. I usually talk a lot about for print on demand. The same applies for Creative Fabrica as well. Upload the graphics or the products related to the Christmas, the ones it's Christmas. And now you can start uploading the product related to the Valentine because people are about to purchase the product from for the Valentine soon. Once this Christmas is gone, New Year is gone, people will going to purchase the product for the Valentine. So you can set up yourself for this particular thing. I have already made a content calendar to help you guys set your entire 2022 or set an entire year for your products. I'm going to leave that content calendar. You can download the link is in the description box below. In that content calendar, I've covered all the major e-commerce holidays in the entire year of focusing on the major countries like the United States, Canada, UK, Australia, and all those major countries where you get the more sales. So focusing on that, you can actually go and get the content calendar and set your shop for the seasonal products and for the evergreen products as well, having a kind of like a proper balance. And you can just test the ground. You can see which one is getting you more sales, more reviews, more favorites, and then you can probably go on and move on forward with that thing. So that is a really important thing to have a proper balance. I also did it with my shop. I have uploaded some of the Christmas designs. I also uploaded the evergreen design. Another tip I have for you guys, whenever you're getting any review for your product, please do reply to that particular comment or rating that person is giving you. I got a lot of the reviews on my products and I do reply to each and every one of them. So because it is kind of like a customer service, you can say when you're replying to your customers, when you're replying to the people who are purchasing from you and they are leaving a good review or they are leaving a, any comment or review, whatever it is, just reply to them. Maybe they are asking you something or maybe they are saying it's amazing. I love your product. I want to use it. Or maybe they have some difficulty while downloading your product while using it. So make sure you help them via their comment and reply to their comments. And you're allowed to only reply to their comment one time. That's all. You can't reply to their comments again and again. So you have to be precise with that. Whether they are saying they really like your product and that's good, then you can say thank you or whatever it is. And if they're asking you something, make sure you're blind to them. You're helping your customers. You're helping the people who are purchasing the products from your shop to be able to use your product in a good way in which they want to use it. So that's the most important thing to reply to the reviews. You're going to get the reviews, guys. If you even if you're not getting it right now, you are thinking I'm not getting any reviews for my products and you're saying to reply to the reviews, guys, you're going to get it. OK, you're going to definitely going to get it. So be patient with that because I get a lot of the comments at time. I get a lot of the reviews and I do reply to each one. Keep on uploading the products. Seriously. I want to tell you maintain a consistency. Consistency is almost the important. I did a Fabrica back in the May of 2020. At the time, I think I uploaded a few hundred products and I left my shop for a few months. And then I started uploading that when I was uploading my products onto the Creative Fabrica on a consistent basis, maybe on a daily basis or a weekly basis, I'm getting more favorites, more followers, more reviews, more sales, more money and all this kind of stuff. It's quite obvious, but it's important, guys. Have a consistency. Don't think I have uploaded 100 products. I need to make $100 right now. Don't think in that way, guys, because it will definitely going to take some time to make the money which you want to make. So have a consistency, maintain that consistency. Don't just sit around and wait for the things to happen for you. Actually take an action on, on your, depending on your schedule, depending on how much you can do in a day or a week or a month, whatever it is, but have a consistency and keep on uploading new product guys. Don't just upload 10 products, hundred products and expecting to make hundreds of dollars. It's not an overnight rich money making scheme. It will definitely going to take some time. I want to tell you because people say a lot to me, 100 products on Creative Fabrica, I still make only $5. I still make only $2. And I was like, just 100 products? That's all? If you see the graphics, how many graphics do Creative Fabrica have on their shop? The millions of graphics. And you have just uploaded 100 products from those millions of graphics. Think, think about that. Your hundreds of products will going to be get lost in the millions of graphics that are already there on the Creative Fabrica. And since you're new, you don't have a sales history, you don't have a reviews, you don't have the favorites and followers. So obviously it will going to take them some time to get found in the Creative Fabrica search engine because it's competitive. There are so many people already selling well. So have more product guys, keep on uploading. I'm going to tell you, I have thousand plus products in my shop. Yes. I had thousand plus products in my shop, different niches, different categories, seasonal products. 
uh, some kind of like evergreen then i'm making the money consistently each and every day each and every month from my grid fabrica shop so maintain that consistency of uploading the products maintain that schedule depending on how much you can upload on each and every day or a weekly basis or a monthly basis i think i'm going to tell you guys have your product as a freebie it's really really important if you want to get the more sales if you want to make the quick money or make faster money then you need to have your product as a freebies people download more freebies than in comparison to purchasing your products that's quite obvious no everyone loves freebies who who don't love the freebies so if you have the freebies in your shop people will going to come to your shop and see that oh amazing freebies there i love the freebies so i'm going to take a look on their shop and i know about that guys that particular customer who actually purchasing or downloading a freebie from your shop maybe converting into a customer from your shop because they're going to see oh i love this freebie they are putting so much value into the freebie i want to take a look at the shop maybe they would follow you favorite your products maybe they purchase your uh premium products your paid products so make sure guys have freebies in your shop to tell you guys one of my freebies is getting so many reviews it has having more than 50 favorites for that particular product only and is having more than 10 reviews on that particular product and it's a freebie yes i haven't made any money from that particular product but i'm getting reviews and favorites and followers from that particular product which are actually converting into my customer who is purchasing the premium products or paid products from your shop and is also helping me to rank on the search engine of the grill fabrica because the more favorites you have more followers you have more sales history you have more good reviews you have obviously you're going to rank higher onto the grill fabrica search engine so make sure you have more freebies give people what they want that's really an amazing way to get the more sales it's not just about the crude fabrica the same thing applies for any business you have give the people what they want and you're going to be successful that's true so you need to have a freebies and you need to have a paid brands paid products as well so have this kind of stuff so these are my some tips to help you make the consistent sales to help you make more money on crude fabrica hopefully this video will going to help you let me know your own experience with the crude fabrica in the comment section below i would really love to hear from you thank you so much for tuning in today's video guys see you for the next time take care bye guys